Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about upcoming tropical storm Laura, that's going to be named around 2 a.m. Friday. The National Hurricane Center currently has this as Tropical Depression 13 and is likely to make impacts on the United States, potentially some major impacts. Do not let this National Hurricane Center track fool you. They did it very borderline. They have it peaking at around a 70 mile an hour tropical storm, just shy of a hurricane. I do think this will become a hurricane, but before we do get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. This is the National Hurricane Center's track. We already have a couple of tropical storm watches in effect, um, but currently, the National Hurricane Center is not forecasting this to be a hurricane. Do not let this fool you. This will more than likely become a hurricane. Um, they are just trying to stay low for right now as there there is a lot of uncertainty regarding the strength. Not so much with track, but more of strength. So it could become a Category 1 hurricane, could become a Category 3 major hurricane, or it could stay a tropical storm, which is unlikely, but still a possibility. These are tropical storm force wind probabilities. There's a widespread swath of 30 to 40% going from northern Puerto Rico right into Florida. And the cone of uncertainty gets quite large around Florida, so anything could happen. It could curve into the panhandle of Florida, could curve into the Gulf, into Louisiana, or it could curve west, east of Florida, and affect the Carolinas. So we will have to watch this track. Intensity guidance for soon to be Laura is spread out a lot. Most models have it peaking tropical storm will be named, no doubt. However, about half the models have it going into category one strength or higher. While there are a couple models, one have it going into category two, one have it going into category three, and one have it going into category four intensity. And right now the National Hurricane Center is peaking this at a tropical storm. I do think my forecast, I do think this will peak as a high-end Category 1 hurricane in its whole lifetime, depending on where it tracks, though. So we will need to watch closely because I'm not going to rule out a major hurricane from this. These are some possible paths it could take. You do see it's pretty nailed down for the most part up until you get around the Bahamas, where one track have it curving east of Florida and towards the Carolinas, while 99% of them have it going into the Gulf of Mexico, potentially impacting the Panhandle of Florida or other Gulf Coast states like Louisiana. These are current sea surface temperatures. You do see the Gulf is very, very warm with 31, 32 degrees Celsius sea surface temperatures. Uh, while east of Florida, it's still quite warm. It's not as warm. So if the hurricane, the tropical storm can get into the Gulf, I do expect some potential rapid intensification if it can actually get into the Gulf of Mexico. So we will have to watch the system very closely as there is potential for a major hurricane category three or above with this system. That's a trusted weather forecast for upcoming tropical storm likely hurricane Laura. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.